Good afternoon to class 8. Let us start second class of the lesson energy. Electricity is a form of energy. In Nepal, we use hydroelectricity more in comparison to other forms of energy as it is cheaper, reliable and renewable. The electricity generated from water is called hydroelectricity. You know, Nepal is the second richest country in water resource after Brazil. There are more than 6,000 rivers in Nepal. Most of them are perennial rivers. Technically, 83,000 megawatt of hydroelectricity can be generated from the water resource of Nepal. Practically, 42,000 megawatt of hydroelectricity can be generated but Nepal is still not able to fulfill the demand of 1500 megawatt of electricity inside the country. It imports electricity from India to fulfill the demand of the Nepalese people. In Nepal, Nepal Electricity Authority or Nepal Vidut Pradikaran, in short, NEA is the main organization to generate and distribute electric power. Many hydropower stations are under construction these days. So, NEA hopes to export electricity in the near future after fulfilling the internal demand of Nepal. Though Nepal is not much developed in hydropower sector these days, it has more than 100 years long history related to hydropower sector. The first hydropower station in Nepal was Farping Hydropower Project. It was established by Chandra Samser in 1968 BS. When it was established, its install cap capacity was 500 kilowatt. The electricity produced from the project was called Chandra Jyoti and it was supplied to Kathmandu Valley. It has been now converted into a living museum and is open for public. The second hydropower project was Sundarijal Hydropower Project in Nepal. It was established by Juddha Samser a Rana Prime Minister and it was established in 1991 Vikram Sambad. Its installed capacity was 640 kilowatt. Beside hydroelectricity, Nepal produces electricity from wind too. In Manang and Mustang, NEA is producing 200 kilowatt of electricity from wind mills which is able to supply energy to locals in the area. These days, solar energy is used in different parts of our country. In many houses, people use solar panels to light up their houses. Even NEA has installed solar power plants in some places of Nepal which contribute 2% of energy production. In Nepal, NEA has two diesel power stations, Duhabi Multifuel Station and Hetoda Diesel Station. Here, electricity is generated from diesel or petroleum product. In Cheku of Kathmandu, the Kathmandu Metropolitan City or Kathmandu Bahadagar Palika has installed waste to energy plant. It means waste materials are used to produce electricity. It generates 14 kilowatt of electricity every day. Beside this, large population of Nepal uses use wood, biogas, petroleum products, etc. to generate energy or electricity. So the government 
has to pay more attention to fulfill the demand of energy in Nepal as it is the key to development. Yes, quiz time! Number 1. Which is the first hydropower project of Nepal? Number 2. Technically, how much electricity can be generated from water resources of Nepal? Number 3. Which organization is involved in the production and distribution of electricity in Nepal? I hope you will write down the answers of this question in the comment section below. Here are a few questions for practice. Write down two paragraphs about the current situation of electricity in Nepal. Write an application letter to the CEO of the Nepal Electricity Authority thanking him for ending load shedding from Nepal. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel if you haven't checked out our other videos it's in the description below. And also don't forget to leave us suggestions in the comment section below.